Funerals can sometimes be a bleak affair, but that's really not the case here for Coach Denny Crum's funeral here at Southeast Christian Church. Uh, we heard from so many different people who didn't want to talk about his death. They wanted to talk about his life, a life that they say was well-lived and a life that touched so many others. Denny Crum, uh, not just a basketball coach. You heard from some of his uh, former athletes that played under him, different coaches that coached with him, coaches that have coached against them, all of them showing up here today to show their respect for Coach Crum's family and just give some respect for someone who has respected this city for as long as he has. And to see the amount of people uh, that duel, showed up here should just tell you just how much of an impact that he's had. When you look at his, the scope of his coaching career, that's a phenomenal thing as well. But when you look at the scope of his life and what he's accomplished, uh, so many people here at Southeast Christian Church just talking about that, how good of a friend he was, how good of a husband he was, how good of a dad he was. And that's something that they're going to focus on uh, today. They're going to talk about that and not just uh, what he did on the court, but what he did off of it as well. I got calls from people I hadn't heard from 10, 15 years. And the irony is they all started out with, I'm sorry for your loss. And then they would say something about Coach Crum and how he had influenced them, whether it's how he coached the game or whether it was a word that he said. And I thought about that and I said, that is life not lived in vain. A lot of the people we heard from talked about how it wasn't just a, a goodbye. It was a, we'll see you later or we'll see you around town and all the different places that you've left your legacy on. All of them agreeing that having a world with Denny Crum and losing Denny Crum is better than having a world that never had Denny Crum at all. In Louisville, Sean Bowdy, Wave News.